morning everybody and anybody. We're going to do a little, well, I guess not off-roading, but we're going to do some back-roading. Today is the opening day of hunting season around here, so we'll try not to get shot. I was up here a few days ago with my dad. We were cutting firewood for my in-laws, and I saw these little back roads, and I thought, oh man, these look like so much fun to ride. We're going to see if we can drop this bike and, uh, you know, just have lots of fun. My dad said that he was going to come up here uh, last night, I do believe, and camp out in this big field up here. So we're going to see if we can find him. It is a pretty time of year up here, though. I mean, look at the... Uh, oh. Look at the uh, the colors on these larch trees. We're not necessarily up here to find my dad. We're just gonna, I wanna get a little bit of off-road practice on this bike. And you know, like on a scale of <laughs> one to 10. On my off-roading skills, my, uh, my, I don't actually know where my skills are. But I will tell you that my experience is uh, nilch. Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. Let's go this way. Okay, I'm coming to a lot of Ys in the road. I think that first Y, I think I needed to take a right on that first Y. Looks like somebody's driven back here today. Ooh. Well, there's a tree across the road. Everything looks different up here now that there's snow. This one right here. I want to try to go up this road right here. Hey, look at this. Well, the old man was here because you've got big truck tracks and you got little tiny trailer trailer tracks. Woo! You see that? That's blood. That guy got something, that's for sure. If he didn't, he'd still be here. I'm trying to think of where else, where else did we go? After we went out of there. I can't really think of where we went. I don't think, did we come back down here? I don't know. You know, this bike not, may not be everybody's first pick. But you know what? I sure do love this bike. I am happier today with it than I was the day that I got it. I pretty much get happier and happier with it every year that I own it. It just never seems to let me down. We need to find something that might be a little bit more challenging. It ain't gonna be on this road. Another reason that I'm doing this is because I'm seriously looking into getting some upgraded suspension this next spring. 
And I don't want to, <laughs> you know, and it doesn't make sense to, to ride this basically on the highway. Ride it on the highway and then change the suspension and then take it on some roads where you've got to use it and then try to notice a difference. That's not going to work. I need to actually try out the suspension and everything. I need to feel it right now it's, it's so that I know what type of difference it made. I wish we had like a little obstacle though. I do need an obstacle. I could be going a lot faster on this I think but for someone of my lack of skill and me not actually knowing where this road goes I'm kind of taking it easy here which I think is a good idea. Ooh, like that. That was a really sharp rock. That could have been bad. Well, I haven't got shot yet, so that's good. Okay, okay, I'm gonna have to turn these heated grips off because my hands are starting to boil. I'm looking into the progressive shocks. It's about 750 or so for the rear. I don't remember what the front was. I, I think it was under $100. Now, did I go up that road? Or did I come down that road? Now I don't remember. <laughs> I'm a lost toy. I don't know. Let's go on this road. Let's keep going on this road. Oh, I know. I remember that. I did, that's where I did come down. No, wait. Or is this where I came down? Here's the thing. If anybody's fairly familiar with the V-Strong, let me show you this. Look how my feet are just sitting flat. And I've never really been able to flat foot this bike. I have been able to, but not this well. We're still working on control here. Wait a minute. This is not the road that I came in on. Do we dare? Do we dare? I don't think this would be a good idea. I do think I'm gonna dare going down this though. I'm not that far from the highway, <laughs> otherwise, otherwise I think I might pass. Wow, there's bones everywhere over here. Ooh. It's a big hole. There's like slit. There's little ground snakes everywhere in here. Okay. I think this is the road that I want to go up. So I'm looking into getting those progressive shocks. Sometime, maybe this spring. And then I might be able to continue doing some of this stuff. But right now, I think that the stock shock, the stock shock, just really isn't adequate. And the truth is, is that the, I, I think that the shock just needs to be replaced. And so, I think that if I'm gonna, you know, go through the hassle of replacing it, I might as well upgrade. You know what I mean? 
because I don't plan on getting rid of this bike. Ooh, how'd that feel? This is the road that I came in on, right? Something tells me that my bike is actually having a really good time. I think Felix likes this. You know, after doing this for just a little bit, I actually feel way more comfortable. I don't know why. I mean, maybe just getting in tune with the bike a little bit on the off-road stuff. But that is it for today. I'm gonna go see if my dad got a deer.